Hello, my Facebook, or my YouTube people, Facebook people. Y'all are YouTube people. Sorry, I'm trying to keep down a little bit. Baby girl sleeping, which is how I'm able to make a video. God damn, the sun is right in the way. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so this video is going to kind of be all over the place, but you know me, they usually are. So there's that. Uh, I, I designed a website last night. Now, as I've already told y'all in like the third video I ever made, all of my creativity goes into writing and decorating. Beyond that, I, I'm fucking lost. And uh, if any of y'all have checked out the covers to my books that I made, you will know I do not do well with shit like that. So the website's lame, but it has on it every single way to contact me and the link to the books. So there's that. Um, I'm super pumped about that. And there's <laughs> this thing at the beginning of it. Oh yeah, I can't block it out. Um, there's this this thing at the very top of the page, and it's somebody typing and drinking coffee, and that amused me. Um, they didn't give me much to fucking choose from. Not at all. Not at all. I, it, I have been a major slacker when it comes to Minecraft lately. Like, well, as I said, when uh, the spring equinox, I was sick as a dog. And I really, really tried to pull myself up and make myself do the ritual, and I just couldn't. But it, it's beyond that. It's like, it's like I'm at a point where I'm now reinvestigating the way that I do things and finding new ways to do them, which, by the way, that was something that for 15 years I would have never done. I did everything the same way, you know, precisely the same way every single time. I really did not feel like I was able to change shit, and then I started getting into slumps like I'm doing right now, and I realized you are either going to change the shit that's, like, dogging you down, or you're going to become the world's worst witch. And I don't want to be the world's worst witch, you know? So... I'm, I'm going through a period right now where I'm reinvestigating the way that I do things. The first big change that I never thought I would ever do, and y'all are going to be like, really, this is big to you, but it is. I am, I have my Book of Shadows, I think I've showed it to y'all before, I'm not sure, that I uh, keep all of, like, the, the knowledge that you need for the craft in that one. And then I have my Book of Shadows that I've had since I was, like, 14 that's fallen the fuck apart where I wrote down all of the things that I did, the rituals and all that shit and all the details. Well, I've also kept a journal at like my entire life until the past two years where I slacked on that too. And uh, I, I decided that since I don't seem to have time to, I hope y'all are not just like, I hope that music isn't too loud, it's in the living room. But I've decided that since I don't seem to have enough time to keep a regular journal, and my magic journal, I'm just going to put it all in one, which is something I never, ever thought I would do. I am the same person, y'all are going to laugh hard at this, I'm the same person who would not use a lighter to light my candles for the first, like, 12 years after I became a witch, because I was taught that you have to use matches, you can't use a lighter. So that's what the fuck I did. And I was a poor bitch, it was not easy to find matches sometimes. Try for one. Like, uh, can I light it on my gas stove? That's is that more lighter or match? Yeah, that was me. I was that person. Um, but my new almanac came today. Isn't it beautiful? And I already wrote like the retro. Hold on, I'll show you. I write the retrogrades in there, so I know what's up because it doesn't show it. Don't mind my horrible handwriting. And it got me thinking about. Well, first of all, I feel like I cannot witch without that almanac. I really only look at it maybe three times a month, but I have to have my almanac. It's the dumbest thing, but I get so fucking excited knowing it's coming. Like, I was waiting by the door, like a child with a deadbeat dad, just waiting for my fucking almanac to come. Unlike the deadbeat dad, though, the almanac got here. Um, <laughs> sorry, bastard joke from a bastard. Um, but it got me thinking about the, the spring that I bought my first almanac. And how excited I was then, and how the excitement is still there. This, by the way, is my very first almanac that I bought. Um, I got this, this, and this in 2003. Because my grandpa was a truck driver most of my life. And I was more like their kid than their grandkid. Because they basically raised me. And uh, he would just hand me money for, like, no reason back then. God, that I didn't realize how good I had it. 
And a lot of the time, I would end up taking it home and buying food for my sister and brother and all that kind of shit. But this particular time, he gave me $75, and I went straight to Pearls of Wisdom, which at that time was the only shop, the only witchy shop left open here in Columbus. I still lived in Circleville. And uh, I d I've never really liked Pearls of Wisdom, but like I said, it was the only one left at that time. They've opened more downtown, but I haven't got to check them out, so I don't know if they're great or not great or whatever. But I went to Pearls of Wisdom, and I had seen my fairy deck, um, like, two months before that, and I just fell in love with it. Like, I knew I had to have it, but I also knew I was a poor bitch who had no money. So, um, I went and I got the almanac and I got the Silver Raven Wolf book, which I love with all my heart to this day. Like, I can still remember the excitement that I felt <laughs> when I started reading that book. And, um, it, it does have, I mean, I know a lot of people talk shit about silver. I personally love silver. And I think that book pretty much touches on everything. And I would recommend it to anybody starting out. I, I was like five years in, but... I got my information, like, in a fucked up order where I didn't have anybody there to say, you know, do this, do that. It ended up all coming together, but the first few years, there were, there were holes <laughs> in my practice, and that filled in a lot of the holes, and then just observing shit filled in a lot of the holes, because that's really important, too. Um, books are extremely important, but it is also important to just observe and go with what feels right in your heart, I guess. Which I don't have to tell most of y'all this, but I mean, if you're new or whatever, I'm, I'm just going to give my goddamn advice that you probably don't want anyway. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so, I, I don't know. I just get so excited over my almanac, and it's so funny because I become that 16-year-old girl again. Like, yes, yes, over a fucking almanac. You gotta admit, they are pretty cool. I love them. I love the little stories in them. I read them in the doctor's office and then hide it when the doctor comes in. It's just, you know, you never know how your doctor is going to react when you're sitting there reading the witch's almanac. You just don't. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm thinking a lot about the past, the way I used to do things, and the things I want to change, and the things I want to switch around. Like, I want to get more shit from my older, which, I, I'm not big on a lot of shit. I mean, I have this bad tendency to put shit on my older solely for decoration. Like, I don't use a wand. I've, I've just never felt comfortable using a wand. I use my finger. Or this one if I'm taking the energy out. Um, but I have a wand that I fuckered all up. Oh my goddess. Again, not a crafty person. Not not creative in those ways. But I did try. And it is on my order. And I've, I think I used it maybe once. Just to see if maybe since I made it, it would make it better. Yeah. I, and I don't know if I ever told you all about this. Alright, so my wand. I decided I wanted a willow wand. There are willow trees at my favorite cemetery in the world, Green Lawn Cemetery, the one my mother took us to instead of taking us to a playground. And uh, I, I decided that I was going to go and I was going to cut a small branch off, you know, and, and leave a penny and say thank you and take it home. Well, the cemetery, you're not allowed to take any plants from it. So I was, I was doing great. I was getting just a small piece off. And then I saw the fucking uh, groundskeeper dude coming around, and I knew I was going to get in trouble. So I kind of yanked it and tore a huge fucking branch of, I mean, this thing was huge. It was like half the fucking tree off this tree, and I'm trying to sneak around to get back to my car, which is like a mile away. Oh my god, it was horrible. And then I get home, and I was living with my grandma at the time, and she's like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm not real. I wanted that, and I got half the tree. I still have the uh, the leaves from that. I tried to use the, um, the what was left of the little branches and shit to make a basket. Spoiler alert, that didn't fucking work out real well. Oh, man. <laughs> like I said, this is a rambling video. I apologize for that. But spring, I don't know, like, especially the past few years, maybe not so much earlier, but in the past few years, spring seems to be the time that I, well, reawaken. Because a lot of the time in the winter, I do a lot of studying and not so much doing, which, you know, it, it's that's the season for it. Well, for me, anyway, because I know people do different things different ways. But for me, winter seems to be this, the season of studying, which I really didn't get any of that done this year. 
And spring is like the reawakening. Like, what do I want to do from here? And that's kind of where I'm at. Um, I'm getting ready. I have a, a jar that I have in my fireplace that I'm getting ready to redo. Take the shit out of it and completely redo it. Um, I've cleansed the living room and the dining room. Um, I'm deep cleaning the house, too. Because I, I think that really goes hand in hand, especially after winter. I mean, you're all cooped up. Sorry, my back's killing me. I have no support for it. Oh, 30 going on 80. But, um, yeah, I, I think that that's really important. That it, in the wintertime, you can't have the windows open. You know, you're all shut up. And shit collects in corners and stuff like that. Because everybody's in the house. And you're bickering back and forth. And all that energy just kind of lays there. Or at least I feel like it does. And then spring is really a good time, I think, to throw the windows open, deep clean all your little messes that you can't get around to, use the weekends if you must, that's what this bitch is going to do, because I can't do shit with my hell unit, it, it, no, ain't going to happen. But I'm going to start using the weekends and tackle a big project in the house each weekend. And as I get each room cleaned, I'm then going to cleanse it and just kind of, like I said, I want to love my house again. And I think that this is something I can do now, you know, instead of waiting. Because I want to get new shit for the house and stuff like that. All the stuff that I wanted to get when I first moved in and never got around to because we're poor. Um, I'm going to start little by little getting shit like that for the rooms and doing one room at a time. And, uh, but I, I don't have the money right now for that. But I can deep clean and cleanse. That is what I can do right now. And that's what I'm going to do. So... I'll sneak riding in there somewhere. <laughs> That's, I hate that when you have to choose between riding and cleaning. Like, really? Because <laughs> you want to ride. You don't want to clean. But the house looks like this. So, But, yeah. I hope you guys are having a beautiful, wonderful spring day. It is pretty nice here. But it's Ohio. We could have a blizzard tomorrow. You never fucking know. Um, I have one window open. It's a little too cool to open the old-ass window back there. I have one window open just to kind of get the air in. I'm so dreading the warmer weather, though, because I know, I know how bad my skin is going to hurt. I have taken so much Kratom this past week that I really could not, I can't afford to take Kratom like that. Shit's expensive. But if you take a whole bunch of it, it will make the skin pain stop. But you have to take a whole bunch of it. Like, that is the worst. I'm already planning, like, as soon as I can get a great big air conditioner for the downstairs because I just, I can't go through this shit again. And the little air conditioners are not getting it. They're just not. I mean, they would do well with a big air conditioner, but it, it, the space is just too open for that little air conditioner. I have. So I'm working on planning to get a big fucking air conditioner and then worrying about my electricity kicking off because I don't think the electricity has been updated since, like, 1950. Um, Y'all would shit if I showed you my, uh, my furnace. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I'm still working on taking care of that. Today's, I think, my last day of antibiotic. But, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm just trying to fall in love with my house again and get the negative energy and the messes and all of it just out. So that, I don't know, you gotta admit, when you clean and cleanse a room, and you sit down, and you look around, and everything's picked up, and it, it just feels better, you know? It really does. So, yeah. I hope y'all are having a beautiful day. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. And, uh, I hope that y'all are enjoying spring, and the possibilities of spring. I'm trying to grow a career, which I finally feel like I might be able to do. This whole paperback thing is just, it's given me so much fucking hope, I can't even tell you, because this is a whole, this is, this is all I ever wanted, you know, and if I could somehow make this work without a publisher, I would get, on my ebooks anyway, I would get a bigger percentage of royalties. It's like I said, I only get 35 cents on the paperbacks, which would be about right, but on the ebooks, I get ha almost half so, and you're not going to get a deal like that if you have an agent and a publisher. It's not going to happen. But it's just a matter of spreading my name out there. And then trying to figure out how to do book tour dates and shit like that. If I could do that all on my own, like be the Macklemore 
of authors, <laughs> that would be fucking awesome. And I'm working on a plan for that. And I love you guys. And I'm going to stop rambling now and go smoke a cigarette before my hellion wakes up. So, again, I hope you all have a beautiful day. And I'm sorry my video was so rambly. I had a lot of shit that I just wanted to give to you. <laughs> love you guys.